even greet you in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are ready for prayer. Amen. Uh, God must bless you for supporting us. Amen. Uh, I was telling people last week that with no support, I don't think the church can grow. Amen. The growth of the church is not the church expanding the building. The growth of the church is when more souls are coming to Christ. That's the growth of the church. Do you hear that? Yeah. Sometimes when you pray, you pray and say, God, my church, my church. And the more people come there, they're going to make you tired. You, you reach a level where you cry for people, but you also reach a level where you don't want people. Can you see that God knows what we want? Yeah? God knows what we want. So I'm praying that as I'm praying for you, God must give you what is best for you. Amen. Something that you maintain it. Hallelujah. Amen. And how do you maintain being a Christian? It's when you live right. Tell your neighbor, live right. Amen. Don't be a Christian, a part time Christian. You hear that? Mm-hmm. Don't be a what? Mm-hmm. Sometimes you are prayerful. Sometimes you can't pray. No, don't be that kind of a Christian. Be a Christian that is hot all the time. Mm-hmm. Because you don't know when you're going to die. One day you die when you are sin. And all the work you have done will come to waste. Can you see that? As we are praying for you, this is not only about you receiving something. It's also about maintaining your Christianity. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. It's not easy. The devil will come for you. Mm-hmm. But I want to tell you, you maintain it by force. Jesus, he said, if these people, they can do this on a greener tree, <coughs> what about on the one that is done? Huh? And which one is dry? Is it not me and you? It's us, isn't it? So we are we were born with sin. And therefore we have to fight so that sin must leave us. You hear that part? So let me pray for you. But I'm talking like this, I'm asking God, where can I start? You know, so I'm a person who hears a lot of stories. So we are like, like, Come where there's people, the stories. <laughs> my brother, when I come where there's people, my ears will be very a lot of stories. So after we pray for you, may God increase you today. Do you hear me? I say, may God increase you. May God bless you. And may God also remember your children. Those children. God must remember it. Because I have faith that many of your children, they will do what we are doing. You believe it? Yes. Huh? Yes. You believe your children will do what we are doing? Yes. There's no problem. Take them to school. Uh, take them to school. If they are meant to do the work of God, they will come and do it. Hallelujah. I'm very sure that many will be prophets. And because we are going to the end time, we need people that are honest, especially with the time we will go. Hallelujah. Can I pray for you? Yes. Can I pray for you? Yes. Can I pray for you? Yes. 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 You have got faith? Yes. Yes. You believe something? Yes. 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 But I'm also worried about this thing. What is a belief? (coughs) So I was asking myself a question. What is believing in something? I want to pray for you now. Can I ask you that question? No? What what is believing in something? What is belief? Who wants to answer? What is the word believe me? Huh? Can you believe in something you know? Hmm? Huh? You can't, isn't it? You only believe in something that you don't know. I, I said to myself, I'm, I don't believe, I know. 
That's what I was saying to myself this morning. Because the word believe, we have been given it by those who are not believing also. <laughs> they, they call us believers. You know, you believe only something you don't know. But if you know Jesus, you don't believe in him. You know him. <coughs> you hear that? Amen. Because believe itself is also a doubt. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm losing you. You're lost now. Are you lost? For your ear. You can't believe something that you know. You, you, you must say to people, I'm not a believer, I know Jesus. I don't believe in him, I know him. You hear that? Yeah. Come here, Mama, I pray for you. Lift up your hands. When do you want the baby? Anytime. Anytime. Tonight must be your night. Amen. You must conceive today. Amen. By fire, by force. Amen. You must conceive when? Today. And your time to cry has come to an end. Amen. You hear me? Amen. And don't go pray again about the child. Already God has answered your prayers. He has answered your prayers. But I can tell you, if God do it, keep quiet. You may to feel like the stomach is coming. Close your mouth. Because in your marriage here, you are fighting spirits. Yes, and you are really fighting many people who know you. Yes. You are not even wanted. I can tell you that. So the mayor, you see, you have missed your, your days of going as a woman. You say, let me keep my mouth shut. And I believe Jesus will do it for you. In Jesus' name. Jesus, my God. Jesus, name. Jesus, my name. Come on. Come on. Out. Out, oh, you demon. This mama. Mama. I see a time that are coming. Mm -hmm. There are people that are playing against you. you know, they want to drop you down. Mm -hmm. so, but I believe Jesus will protect you. Amen. Bring that lady again. Come here. So I, I'm trusting God. Because where you are today, there are many people who believe in, in a church. Yes. Believe in getting water from the river. Amen. That's true. So we need to stop this people. What they are doing now, they are gaining against you. Mm, amen. And I'm just warning you, you need to go and pray. Amen. Or else these people will take you down. So, but with your faith and your faith, you go and protect your job. Amen. Amen. Jesus, my name. Amen. 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 You must come now. Okay, pray for you. You hear me? Mm. That's why I'm coming to wake you. It must happen. You want to work there? Okay. It's your sister. Mm. God must do it. You must do it. You brothers, you must propose. Brothers, say amen. amen. <laughs> you must say, how are you? <laughs> Jesus, my children. <laughs> Come here. You must greet. Some people they act like they are very much holy in the church. Nothing like that. Jesus Christ. 
useless. Useless. Just tell them put in your stomach, they must leave you. This old woman must leave you. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, my children. Pray for the health of your mom. You hear me? Your mother is not well. This is for your mom. In the name of Jesus. 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 Looking for a promotion, so it's your time to get it now. When do you want it to happen? Today. Today. That friends. Yeah. <coughs> we see your promotion, Mama. Jesus. Yeah. Your brother, come. <coughs> Jesus, my king. This lady, she's not free. This one. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm very much your life. I'm not in the church. Oh, cracking it out, cracking. Bala, don't cry. She might not win, but God can change. Jesus. Jesus, my kid. Jesus. Jesus, my kid. Jesus, my kid. I see a sweating complexion woman. I see this one that was also dying complex. That they used to come and tell you issues. And I tell you some of them they are making it because of you. Some of them are supposed to be dead this week. But look what God has done. So I believe 
But God brings such people, we pray for them. Praying for people is not only for pastors, we must pray for each other. Isn't it? Do you pray for people? Huh? Someone said pray for people who don't for pastors. Who said? Pray, pray for these people. God will help you. See this? Why people are telling me about God increase this restaurant now in Jesus' name. Jesus, my channel. For free. Come, brother. Name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. The prayer that I'm giving you is to your brother. Don't worry about your brother again. You hear me? Don't worry about your brother. I'm sure God will help you. God will help you. I release your brother. I release your brother. I release him. In the name of Jesus. This man must come out of prison now. In the name of Jesus. Come on. Jesus. This man was he here. Was here. Come. My heart is very sharp. I know everyone. When I came here, I know everyone I see. Jesus. This man was telling me that he wants me to come to Ghana. Uh, we'll come. We'll come. <laughs> we'll come to Ghana. We'll come to Ghana. And many people have been inviting me there in Ghana. Many people. But a lot of messages I received them from Nigeria. And we haven't traveled that day on top of it. But the day we come there, hey, that we need space. We really need space. Because African people on toilet, they've been crying. When are you people coming here? You know, you know, you know it, it's always like that. that People who don't know, they always believe. Mm. <laughs> but there are many pastors there. But they're asking us here, when are you coming there? <laughs> you know, yeah, the things of God. Come, brother. Thank you, brother. <coughs> this brother must come. God has done it. Amen. You hear me? Amen. Okay, what is that? This is your business. Jesus, my son. Come on, come. Jesus, my son. Very soon, I want to tell you. Visions. Can I tell you something about visions? Visions. It's not about being too much prayer. No, it's about favor on you. But prayer helps you to maintain them. 
Did you hear that? Did you hear? What did I say? Patience. It's not a bono, huh? Been too much prayer. But prayer, it do it. It helps you because whatever that God gives you, uh, the devil will love to steal it. You see that? So now you need the Spirit of God to maintain what God gave you. And how do you have the Spirit of God? It's when you keep on building that relationship with God all the time. You become prayerful. You pray, 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 pray. Because many of you here, like I've got a pastor here. He's one of our pastors. I told him, I said, you, how you conduct yourself in this house will determine your future. You see that you need God to maintain what you are giving. You know, the determination that he has will open up his future like this. You know, how you live here. You see that? And that does not mean it will be easy. No. That's why you've got young people who see visions at a young age. Very young. But when they grow up, everything disappears. Why? They were born with that thing that this is what you're supposed to become. But the devil will come and say, let me take this. They take it away. So now, for you to retain what God has given you that has been lost, you must come to prayer now. If you are not hearing, can you come close? I want to tell you this. Uh, you are not hearing me. Come close. Some people come close. All of you. Was, uh, this is another service. You see this one? This is another service. There's young people that God gave them gifts when they are small. You see that? When they grow, everything died down. You see? So now, with prayer, they must pray to be able to take what they've lost back to themselves. So now, prayer is not something that is really that much special. It's maintenance. That's prayer. It maintains you. And it also grow. It grows that relationship that we have with God so that it must never die. You see that? So now, but the more you fail to pray, is the more you are drifting away from God. Can you see that? And even what He has given you will also die. You see? It will also die. It has to die. So, many of you come here. Come stand here. Many of you here that I saw, come here. This way. Come on. Come. Come here. Yes, come. This person, okay, come. come. Yes! 
Yes. You see that? Yes. Uh, you see that? Yes. 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 It's coming back to where God said, I give where I want to give. You see that? And, and what made God to say, I give where I want to give? Why are you throwing this boy to you? Please! You know? And there are people who can prophesy, you know, because they're going to see the prophecy. Because they're going to give. You know, there's these people in America that are called uh, they are called what? <laughs> no, no. There's these other ones when there's an incident, they call them to, to speak what has happened. The what? Psychic. You see the psychics? Do you think it's the spirit of God? Yeah? What is that? Yeah? Divination. Oh, and what is a divination? Huh? Is what? No, let's say they have never come across the devil. An occult. Let's say they have never been involved in an occult. Because not everyone has come across an occult. Isn't it? So now, such people, they can be born like that. You see? that they are able to see but that does not mean they've got the spirit of God they might be having a gift you see that with is just a gift you see so now there comes a gift that someone is born with it <sighs> don't go far hey, don't go far hey. that's really different because this stupid, a gift, this stupid boy. Let me tell you, this morning just a yes. A gift of it is God the day comes he's going to manifest like his father. Mm. It, <coughs> so now, a gift of God is too different from someone who's just. You know, there's two gifts. There's a gift from God. There's a gift that you are just born with. These are two different. <sighs> someone can be born with a gift. Someone God can gift him. Yes. Yes. And now, like this stupid boy, this two yes, he's born. Oh, in this world, in this world, know nothing about this stupid thing. You understand that? They know nothing about this stupid there's, thing. There's one that speaks out of their own gift, which is their own influence, right? There's one that speaks out of the influence of God, which is the gift that has been given. Let me tell you this before I finish praying for you. Abraham. Why was he able to see the angels passing? Huh? What kind of a gift is that? Remember Abraham, his father was a witch. <laughs> huh? You hear that? His father was a witch. Isn't it? So now, now people are coming. They are passing before him. They say, hey, who are these people? I stand against that person in the name of Jesus. Amen. So now I was giving example with these people that I brought here. Some of them they are born with it. Some God must give them. I'm not saying these people they are pastors. I'm just giving you an example. You see that? So now as I'm praying for you. Ah, there's no example here. There's the nothing like an example is telling you the truth. The this stupid, look at this. Of today. Your thing is praying for his breakthrough. He's is, praying for you is, with his brother. With is for Shabby God. Shabby is for Shabby God. The prayer of today is for God to reveal ah. what he has given you. Ah. 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 Time can come to an end. Yes. Yes. You hear that? Yes. Yes. Huh? Yes. 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 Let me pray for this man. Your amen is this 
this one. Come here. <coughs> is very small. I'm trying to explain this thing called gifts. Because gifts, they're not the same. They're different. And you as a child of God, that gift, it needs the spirit of God. <coughs> Otherwise, it don't work. Others are born with it. The devil still sits and removes it from you and give it to another person. So now, yes, it's what I want to do to this chunky many pain. People who are coming but they're resisting. Oh, because of you. You know why you are here, many of you. You know why you are here? So that God can restore that gift. Yes. And from there, after I restore it, you'll be able to function. Yes. Because you don't function when someone has stolen something from you. Yes. You can't. This stupid thing it's was saying the very same thing this morning Many when he was bathing. Yes! I knew the demon is and now I'm seeing about the same thing. So now, many of you, when you are here in the church, be very serious. You know, because you are here so that someone must tear something up on you. Stay, 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 stay. Until now, God said, now you are ready to be given to people as, as food. This thing is not here for breakthrough. No. You hear that? So now I want to pray for you for the last time. And I want to tell you, God loves you. And whatever that the devil has stolen from you, it must return in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say it must return in the name of Jesus. Amen. It must return in the name of Jesus. Amen. It must return in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And when I came here, I said, you people live right. I said that. Because don't open a door where the devil will be able to take something from you. Amen. The minute something is taken, you'll be empty for a very long time. Yes. Uh, and the and this stupid thing, I'm talking about during the night, it's just praying for people. Hey, yeah. alone, you pray for need. people. This boy. So, may God help you. Come here, say, come. Give me this. Jesus, my team. This interview that is coming, my girl. Do you hear me? Mm. I will buy a car after two months. Two months. Brother, you are healed. Go to the doctor. You are free. You are free. You are free. You are healed. Go to the doctor. They'll tell you you are free. You are healed, brother. Boy. that has deposited something in you thinking that they will control you forever, I release you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.
God, you don't ask questions. <laughs> you, you hear that? That's, that's that. I, I told you, when you serve God, you don't do what? Go ask. Yeah. It was even you, by your time, they were also question. <laughs> you hear that part? Yeah. When you serve God, you don't ask a question. Yeah? Tell me where... Joshua was questioning Moses. Huh? Show me, show me a place. The word of God says Joshua will just sit there. The man of God will climb the mountain for days. For days. Now the question is that what is it that Joshua was doing down there? What do you think he was doing? Huh? Pray. He was praying. He was just sitting there. And I can tell you that days where wind will come. There. You know when you want to serve God, don't listen to people. There, the crowd of Israel there, they are making noise there. They are living their own lives. A young man is here. The servant of God is on top. He's here. But when Moses die, they want to be leaders. Oh, you want to be a leader because you are busy there. When people are making noise, you go with them. When people are saying that you listen to them, Joshua could not be part of those people there. He will always be here alone. You know, even older people, they were not interested in whatever that Moses was doing. So when you serve God, tell your neighbor you must be intelligent. When you serve God, you must be intelligent. Don't question anything. Serve God. Don't question. Serve God. Don't question. Serve God. Because as people, you always have questions, isn't it? Yes. Huh? A lot of them. <laughs> But if you question, even you, by your time, mm -hmm. don't question me. <laughs> because it does not end here. We are groomed to be the leaders of tomorrow, right? Yes. Whatever you do to your leaders, they will do to you. It will be done to you. It will be done to you. It's either you, they do it to you double or three times. One day, another pastor is gave example. He said, if you break someone's church, someone in your church that you are forming will also break yours. You have started a curse. <laughs> you see, if I mean, this man, let's say this man is my pastor. This one. I'm here. I'm saving him. If I break his church, I take people out. I study here. Someone here will also break this one. And continue. You have started a case. You are a nation of cases. Church of cases. Hallelujah. You are learning something. Huh? Are you learning something? Huh? You are learning, isn't it? Yes. So I'm, t I'm telling you. That's what I also t I said. Whatever that they, you do here, do it with the whole of your heart. And you must do it very happy. And right now, when you are awake, you are doing whatever you are doing, there are people that will also say, Why is he working like this? The day God pay you, 
They say, but why this one? You know, the day God gives you an, your awards and say, take it. They say, oh, but why you? When you serve God, don't question. Just follow. Amen. I say, follow in the name Amen. of Jesus. Follow. And you will see what Jesus will do for you. There's no one who can serve God and God does not remember you. Never. I say never. Amen. God will remember you. Amen. I say God will remember you. Amen. God will remember you. Amen. I say even this year they are better with amen. God will remember you in the name of Jesus. Amen. amen. God will remember you. Amen. God is not stupid. Amen. You know, the Bible says his eyes are always on the righteous. He's looking what you are doing. Say, no, I can't leave this one. I can't leave this one. God will lift you. Amen. So I want to praise you for the last time. I'm just encouraging you. You, you have found a revelation. Live by it. Amen. Live by that revelation. Amen. Close your ears. The day you come here with a Lamborghini, you see, look at that. Lin Tatua Sakai Wane. You can never see him doing this. Have you ever seen him? No. He's, he's very calm all the time. But look what he's doing. You think I'm just talking? Someone who's very calm. This man. You know him, so. But look what God is doing on him. The day you bring a car here, that comes in. They say, ah. Kanja. Kanja. And I'm praying that God must bless you. Amen. You hear me? Amen. But I'm also seeing a business of clients on you. You hear me? I'm seeing you working with clients, clients, clients. So this business will, will, will grow. You hear me? Receive this grace. You hear me? Amen. Receive this grace in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive it, brother. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Come take your come take your say. We're done. Can I touch you for the last time I release you? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 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 Can I touch you? Yeah. 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 Can I touch you? Yeah. 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 This man, this business of trucks, yeah, there's a lot of issues. You hear me? There's a lot of issues. Uh, and I see also some people that they're they not right. But this man must pray. You hear me? This man must pray. God will connect him with more people that are truthful. Because I see issues with this issues of trucks. So, but I'm sure God will help you. God will definitely help you. Can I thank you for the last time? Yeah. Yeah. Mama on the camera, she's always coming. So this pain must leave you for the bed. In the name of Jesus, I'm touching you for the last time. Also Mary. Amen. Must marry in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, my King. Thank you. Life of Jesus. For him, name of Jesus. 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 Jesus.
This is your job, sister. We are healed. He is now. Amen. He is now. You can take those tablets. <coughs> Doing businesses, you must go and prosper. Amen. Business. Amen. Go and prosper. Uh, be millionaires uh, before the end of this year. Amen. Like this one. Uh, come here, brother. Come. God must give you money. If you are doing business, prosper in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You prosper in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Prosper in the name of Jesus. Amen. Leave him, leave him, leave him. Prosper in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen. And then, 
So where are you going? Someone follow her. She she's gone. You know, we pastors we work by what we feel and hear. I want to go, but something is broken. So you want me to go? Yeah? Yes. So I live there now, I want to go now. <laughs> you know when we do work with spirit, I want to go. Well, maybe I'm done. But all the time when I come in, I feel like I must return. Yeah, because I, it's, it's really summer when you work with the spirit. You're free, my man. So now I can go, now you're free. Maybe you're the one that has been holding me. You're the one that has been holding me.